This is the most powerful God. He's with me? He's hanging out with me. God is driving. God is driving, okay? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Odora Christiana, for those who don't know. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, sticking around each and every video. I appreciate you so, so much. If you aren't subscribed right now, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Also, be sure to follow me on tiktok and instagram your girl is always trying to grow on other platforms as well now that that is out of the way can we just talk for a minute this is going to be a podcast format type of video if you're cleaning eating driving anything of that sort this is one of those videos you just turn on and play in the background because i have a lot to say today we're just gonna talk i'm gonna piece apart my mind a little bit and share a little bit of what's been going on with me in the hopes that it may help some of you so i've been feeling like my dreams are slowly coming true from being a child to now being 25 i've always had these dreams i've always known there was going to be certain things in my life that i achieved i see myself becoming that woman that will soon achieve those things but I'm in this period where everything seems to be really routine-esque because I have overcome the challenges and the obstacles that it took to become the woman that I am. Changing my habits, stepping outside of my comfort zone, things like that that really have transformed me. Now that I'm here, where's the big bag? Like where is my reward? Where is this big gift at the end that I'm supposed to get because I've done all these things that I intended to do and implement into my life? With big dreams comes the journey and you have to bask in every part of it and i'm realizing this is a part of my journey where i am meant to be still but also enjoy every day i wake up and i pray about how blessed i am and how much i love my life and the people in it the fact that i'm physically and mentally healthy and that i'm able to enjoy it's like grateful is not the word you know but again it's always that little piece of me that's like okay like what's next where's this reward where's this life-changing experience where is it when is it gonna happen you know it doesn't always work like that so i've really just been learning to enjoy this space that i'm in but also reminding myself to remain close to the lord he ultimately got me here whether i was on my spiritual journey or not he got me to where i'm at and i never want to lose sight of his greatness and his power everything that he's poured into me and into my life since i've gotten this far one thing i have been doing to just keep my appreciation high and keep our bond strong is pray to him i like to pray in the form of journaling but either way works whether you're speaking out loud or you're journaling that's how i like to connect with him because when i write things down after i complete that entry i read it aloud when i'm done i'm reiterating my prayer i just love it i really do i don't even know how i functioned and got through heartbreaks and hardships back in the day without journaling like that's how important it is and how much of a staple it is in my life now so praying journaling fellowship oh having people that you can talk to about god do things together that help you connect to god like journaling together or going to church together having bible study like that helps a lot and just anything that really reignites your fire for the lord is something that i realized is important while you're in the waiting season it really is easy to lose sight of who he is and what he's done and lose that sense of gratitude that got you to where you are where he has gotten you to where you are just making sure that you keep your light you keep that fire if you lose it down how can you expect him to keep pushing you forward if you're not even trusting him anymore you're not waiting on him and trusting his plan don't run away from your season of stillness your waiting period really dive 
into it enjoy it and keep seeking god keep that bond strong because he's leading you to the next phase of your life and you need this time to gain a stronger relationship with him and to gain a better sense of self doing all the things that make you happy and connect you to the lord i just make sure that i remember who i'm serving i might feel like this is a long monotonous wait but it's all for a reason and if you just remember that he is the all-knowing he is the most powerful the most high and put your trust in him you will feel this sense of peace that's just like you know what i'm gonna enjoy everything that he's done for me up until this moment and i'm okay with that i'm still gonna work toward my dreams my goals changing my life with him at the head of my life when he's ready for things to start shifting he will do that in his divine timing because he knows best another thing that i realized is very important sticking to your routine i do feel like i am at this part of my life where everything is very routine like for the most part i know what i'm doing every day every week this is something that i worked for that makes me proud every day because i used to be that young bull taking naps all the time on her phone watching movies and series all day which is cool but balance is important and i didn't have that now i'm doing things that are so productive it just makes me so proud of myself in this waiting season it is a little bit tempting to just drop everything and just sit here and just be like i'm waiting no you have to really anchor yourself in the lifestyle and routine that has gotten you to the point where you're at that does include journaling that includes going to the gym that includes waking up early every day if you're sleeping in after 10 30 just don't just don't like i promise your life will change if you just wake up bible study going to work eating healthily doing everything that's healthy for me not using my phone first thing in the morning reading my bible and a book before i go to bed instead of scrolling until i get sleepy this is routine for me now things like that have really transformed me like seriously as i'm waiting for things to shift in my life i'm sticking to those things there are some days where i don't feel like reading the bible or i don't feel like journaling y'all know how it is in cultivating discipline remembering how good i felt last week when i did all those things that's what keeps me going and keeps me grounded but also keeps me on god's path because i know he doesn't want that little for me he wants so much more for me so i should want more for myself and so i should stick to the things Things that make me greater and challenge me refine my mind and my body why wouldn't you want to do those things for yourself it's practically self-love in doing all of those things that are bettering you you can't expect instant gratification from your said obedience you feel like you're doing the things that god is essentially pushing you to do he's putting these desires on your heart and you're like okay i'm doing it i'm doing it and you're looking back like okay like where's the reward i feel like it's natural to feel like that especially when you're doing things that you've never done things that make you feel more confident and give you a boost and like just give you a different pep in your step but you can't expect instant gratification in your obedience god is driving god is driving okay he's not gonna tell you when you're gonna get to that pit stop or your final destination you have to just trust him make him proud every day the same way you're making yourself proud maybe you're not at that point yet maybe you don't feel so good about yourself make him proud every single day every single day that joy that he's feeling from seeing you putting that work to change your life to change yourself is going to soon reflect on you and you're going to start feeling just the same way i've really been having to remind myself that like just because i'm being obedient doesn't mean that a gift is going to come right away at the end of the day everything is a test he's here to teach you correct you and i know that once we get to where we want to be we're going to look back and be like i see exactly what he was doing i see why i was in the waiting season for x amount of time in building my relationship with god i realized that i can talk to him about anything it could be anything you guys i'm like you know what i'm gonna ask him more questions bring my curiosity to him and so i did start to ask him what he wants me to learn in this season of waiting in my stillness period i don't want to be idle in this period i personally am just someone who always wants to learn and always wants to get better that's been the basis of my life since 
I was a child. I'm like, okay, like nothing big is really popping off, Lord, but why? Like, why am I in this stage right now? What are you trying to teach me? What do I need to be embracing and using as a tool for my next phase really talk to him and pray and ask him what he's doing with you he wants you to come to him he wants you to be curious he wants you to be eager to please him i've been praying about that y'all i do feel a shift now where i feel that things are coming to a head he has taught me patience discipline that things do not happen overnight but for good reason at least for me personally because i am someone who's very diligent about things when I do something and I'm for real about it, I'm going to do my research. I'm going to go all out. I'm going to put my best foot forward and I'm going to stay consistent. Since that's been a trait about me all my life, I'm realizing that God isn't just going to give me something. He's not going to just change my life overnight because I'm a diligent woman. He wants me to sift through everything, make sure everything has been learned, everything has been dealt with, everything has been healed and accounted for before I go into a big life shift. That is what he's taught me in the midst of my prayers. But once you do pray to him and you ask him what he's trying to do with you, obviously you're gonna have to wait for his response but don't be idle in that stick to your routines try new things challenge yourself don't just sit there and wait don't sit there in your old habits your distractions and be real with yourself about your distractions push yourself to try new things and you'll feel so much better about yourself and you'll be making God so proud he'll feel even more comfortable with letting new things come into your life pray God's word back to him I'll find certain scripture where I'm like this is the perfect prayer whether I need it now or I'm gonna write it down somewhere in my journal for later it is so powerful to pray his word back to him if you don't even know what to ask for or you don't know how to word your prayer to get God to really understand and to be as intentional as possible with that prayer because that is important when you're praying you need to be intentional and specific so taking scripture out and just rewording it into a prayer that is aligned with you is so powerful you're literally preaching God's word back to him i find this super super helpful not as often but sometimes i do feel a little bit pressured when i'm praying and how i'm wording it and is he going to understand it is it specific enough but when you pray his word back to him it's automatically going to resonate with you and with him so that is a major major tip that i have for you guys that has changed my prayer game totally but in order to do that you've got to read your bible so dive into your bible and go from there the best way to continue to improve is to be honest you gotta really be like hey yo i'm being lazy it's not that i can't do it i'm being lazy call yourself out when you're being scared and do that thing challenge yourself call yourself out when you feel like you've been taking the easy way out and let yourself be challenged pray on it and do it and while you're doing it imagine god right there with you i promise you i've been doing that lately it changes the game recently i've been taking solo trips and when i tell you it's never solo god is with me every step i'm checking into the hotel he right there i'm walking down the street he right there my life has changed since i viewed it as having god with me hip to hip every moment whether i need him or not he's hanging out that just ties into what it took for me to be more brutally honest with myself if i'm scared if i'm being lazy if i'm taking the easy way out if i'm dealing with people who are not good for me it's like you know what i can do what i need to do to change this dynamic because god is with me so it doesn't matter how the person reacts it doesn't matter how i'm feeling as i'm doing Doing this challenging thing god is with me rooting me on this is the most powerful god ever he's with me he's hanging out with me like it just gives you a different perspective of even just yourself because you're like the highest being in our lifetime hangs out with me he listens to me he waits on me he loves me i feel indestructible i feel like i could do anything i'm really just trying to say be brutally honest with yourself and in doing that remember that god is with you and do your shadow work do your shadow work do your shadow work okay that directly ties into being honest with yourself you have to dig deep unrepress anything that you've been holding talk through it 
journal through it cry through it anything that is productive in filtering those things out so that you have space for more positivity in your life without that shadow work it's like why are you doing anything else you have to start at the root so you can see the fruit is so so true so be honest with yourself challenge yourself brutally while you're in this way it'll help to refine you the way that god is trying to refine your mind your body your spirit in this period all your thoughts are not your own there's times when i don't want to wake up and i'm like Ugh, but i'm tired and it's like baby are you tired or is the enemy just trying to set you back are you really tired or is that just your flesh speaking i realized the polar difference between my flesh and my spirit i'm beginning to learn that i need to submit my flesh to my spirit that could go such a long way that's another thing that I had to tell myself in sitting down to film this video. My spirit knows that I need to share more of how I'm feeling and where I'm at with others because there's people that can relate. This is something God is truly calling me to do, but my flesh is being scared, worried about certain things connected to the outcome. My spirit is also connected to my higher self and that's who I'm trying to be and who I'm trying to embody and essentially walk in every day. I want to be present in living with my higher self and to do that i need to be one with my spirit so when i'm tired and my flesh is telling me girl just close them eyes wrap yourself back up in them coats no my spirit said we have a plan we have a routine we have challenges that we're gonna see through today so you know what flesh suck it up these thoughts that are telling me i don't deserve this i have to remember that those thoughts are not my own it's literally the enemy seeing that i'm trying to get my life together they want to have a part in that they trying to see something oh i've been working on my discipline i've been seeking god and remembering that he's with me at every moment so i do not have to fear a thing you got no place here enemy i'm standing strong and where i'm at i'm standing strong in the fact that god has more for me and so today i need to prove to him i'm this much more ready than i was yesterday to receive everything that he has for me in the same breath i see it as a sign of god's progress oh my gosh like god is doing their big one he's like this close to really molding them into what he has envisioned of them they're just trying to disrupt it it's just a matter of being aware self-aware and spiritually aware a good way to tap into your awareness is to have community i've grown a huge appreciation for community i've talked about this before on my channel now having it it's truly made me a better person is giving me a new perspective on life and what it means to have connections with other human beings being able to stay true to everything that you've been intentional about to create the life that you want having positive individuals in your life just adds to it those are the people who are going to hold you accountable are going to hype you up and remind you of how far you've come it has to be the right people and that's why i put emphasis on having positivity around you there are people who might pretend to be happy for you or it might just be in your life because they're awaiting the things that are coming to you and that's the only reason why they are there and gaining the friends that i have now mind you i've prayed on it for years i've been patient on it for years in a span of six to nine months i gained friends who are so true and aligned with me and that's why i know they're true friends having these like-minded people in my life is really what helps to ground me it's one thing to be self-aware but it's another thing to have people who reflect your light i've had an experience where somebody absorbed my light and it was just like there was this darkness i was just able to see for myself the difference between people who have a light and people who are filled with darkness it's just incredible to see the difference and so having people who are like-minded who uplift you and that goes for your family too when you are on a certain path and you're trying to remind yourself of how far you come to remain disciplined those are the people that you need they're gonna come into your life and feed you spiritually emotionally every way that you need it even if it's just hanging out anything that is productive to your emotional state your spiritual state doing it with other people who you're alive with just gives you a new sense of fire for yourself and for God because you gain this gratitude like wow I really love this friend I really love this family member thank you Lord for putting them in my life they contribute to my well-being so 
much it's just a feeling that i didn't realize i was missing seeing other people have close friends obviously i knew there was something i was missing but to have it and for it to be real to experience the sense of gratitude that i get from it it's just it's hard to put it into words and everything that i have just spoke about previously when you have supportive like-minded people who affirm you and uplift you it just makes your journey so much more enjoyable and you gain reassurance along the way you gain accountability it's nothing like doing it alone that is what essentially pushed me to start praying to god in a different manner about having friends in my life i knew that i couldn't do it alone i'm somebody who was super super independent i always felt like i could do it i could do it i could do it i could do it i got to a point in my life where i'm like okay i've done all that i can do and i feel like now for me to achieve everything that i intend to with these big dreams that god has given me i need him i need someone on my side i need someone i can turn to i need someone i can trust someone that is loyal and that is god as soon as i turned to him i quickly started to realize okay but now i need earthly support i've done all the growing i could do the learning i can do and i'm at my cap now where i need different perspectives i need someone to challenge me people to help me when maybe i'm not seeing clearly or i'm not as confident i knew that i needed that in my life as soon as i brought god into my life that was dang near the second thing that i started to pray for just earthly support like-minded people to enter my life and to have true connections with them now i just feel so fulfilled i have god with me every moment of every day by my side and i have people who i can call on and talk to about real things of the heart and the mind and not have to feel judged or not have to feel like they're only going to give me feedback that benefits them my friends make me feel so seen and so comfortable to be myself in the midst of that i'm learning myself through the way they reflect in my light and the way their light shines on me and how i reflect it back to them it's just it's really amazing to really become the person that you intend to be you need to have like-minded people in your life your community helping to mold you into who god wants you to be the way that they contribute to that embrace the you that you're becoming bask in her or him if you're really putting the work in you're changing all the time and i know there's some days where it, it doesn't seem like it it's just a mundane day and you're just going through the motions and you're sticking to that routine doing all the good things to build on yourself but i promise you something in your mind has changed that day something you read in the bible or something new that you challenged yourself to do changed you it's just snowballing it's gonna keep snowballing until god says okay you've reached your next cap and now this is what you need to be doing to get to the next version of you that you're called to be bask in who you are right now this is the version of you you are going to look back on when you have reached the mountains worth of goals and self-improvement and connection to god and you're gonna remember her or him and be like wow she was doing the hard things she was doing the things that people were doubting she would ever do she was inspiring people along the way she was really about bettering herself every single day not doubting herself not fearing rejection or fearing judgment she was doing what mattered to her and being intentional about it every step of the way nothing was for no reason this stage of life does not last forever none of them do when you are in this state where you're like i've done everything i felt called to do i'm building on that every day being consistent i'm not being idle but everything just seems pretty bland everything seems stagnant that's where you need to sit back and say you know what this is the time to enjoy it i've seen through all my challenges through all my insecurities once you really sit back and realize how much you've done and how far you've come and how intentionality has really created your reality that's when you need to tell yourself you know what let's enjoy it let's have fun with this the next phase will come but look where i'm at this is just part of your journey this is just a small part of that so once you've done the work 
enjoy it keep on moving that isn't an invitation to sit down and let everything go that you work so hard to to muster up but be present in it gain that sense of mindfulness gratitude review everything for what it is and romanticize it because girl you did it you've seen through this phase and now this is just a part of it where you're living through it let me leave you guys with this piece of scripture habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 this vision is for a future time it describes the end and will be fulfilled if it seems slow in coming wait patiently for it will surely take place it will not be delayed i just want to leave you guys off with that i really just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how i'm handling this waiting season as i'm awaiting a big shift in my life from god and how i'm remaining happy in it i truly am so happy i'm the happiest i've ever been i just want to bring more clarity to the world because i just feel like god ultimately puts things on my heart that comes as common sense to me and he just helps me to navigate it if i can share that with someone and help them change somebody's perspective or give them information they didn't even realize that they needed then that's what i'm here for i really did enjoy making this video as nervous as i was coming into it this is something that i'm called to do and that's why it was a little bit scary for me everything that is meant for you isn't always just going to be easy sometimes the best things in life are challenging and scary i'm so happy to have you here if you watched all the way through thank you so much i appreciate your time and your energy if you really want to see more from me subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications be sure to like this video if you want more just like it and i will see y'all babies in the next video bye